in place heap sort for in place heap sort we are going to take a look at the array based implementation of a heap now an array based implementation of a heap is no different than a array based implementation of a binary tree just for a recap we can say that if a node is at index i its children will be at index 2i plus 1 and 2i plus 2 this is given that indexes start from 0 so let's take a look at what this means using an example so let's say that we have a min heap like this let's say that this is our array now we are going to insert the elements of this into this array or rather represent it in this array traversing the tree like this so we are going to go to this first then we are going to come down to the next level and give all the elements of the next level we are going to come down and give all the elements so what order was that it was 1 2 3 4 and 5 as you can see for a particular node the children are in 2i plus 1 and 2i plus 2 so this is just a quick recap of how we are going to implement a heap using an array now let us see in place heap sort using this kind of implementation so let's take an example this is the array we will receive now we need to sort it using heap sort not only that we need to sort these elements using this array we cannot use any other data structure that is why it's going to be called in place so if you recall to heap sort there are two phases the first phase is the construction of the heap and the second phase is going to be deleting the root repeatedly so let's look at the first phase so how we are going to do this is one by one from left to right we are going to slowly include elements in our array into our heap so in the beginning we will only include one element that is 4 so if we have our array like this only 4 is going to be considered part of our heap so i'm going to draw the heap diagram here as a side by side so 4 is going to be part of our heap now let's go to the next element and include it into our heap so if this is going to be our heap our heap will look something like this so now we have to check whether the heap property satisfies since 4 is going to be lesser than 7 the heap property will be satisfied because we are going to be constructing a min heap now let's go to the next element
So, if these three elements in, are in our heap, our heap will look something like this. Now we check if the heap property is satisfied. 4 is going to be greater than 2. So, we say that the heap property is violated. In this case, what must we do? We need to swap 2 and 4. After we do this, we are going to get a heap which looks like this. So what is the representation of this heap? It means that 2 is the root, 7 is the left subchild, 4 is the right subchild. And this is going to be what our heap should look like. So, upon seeing an imbalance in the heap, we will swap 2 and 4. Now, we will include the next element in our heap. So, upon adding the next element to the heap, Our heap is going to look something like this. Now we check whether the heap property is satisfied. No, the heap property is not satisfied. So we swap one with its parent. Then we get a heap which looks like this. Now we check again if the heap property is satisfied. The heap property is violated here since 1 is going to be less than 2. So we will swap it with its parent. So we will get a heap which looks like this. Now the heap property is satisfied, so we will include the next element. Now we will check if the heap property is satisfied. Yes, the heap property has been satisfied for all the elements and so we can say that we have successfully included all the elements in our array into a larger heap. With this we come to the end of phase 1 of in place heap sort. Now what we have to do is phase 2. Repeatedly delete the root from the heap. So how are we going to do this in place? We are going to swap the beginning element with the last element. So this is going to be phase 2. Now we repeatedly delete the root. So we are going to replace or rather swap the first and the last element. So in this case we are going to swap 1 and 3. And we are going to consider 1 to be part of our sorted array. Since technically it is deleting 1 and replacing with 3. 
we are moving one to the end where we are considering it to be sorted so this is going to be our sorted array what is over here this is going to be our remaining heap so what do we have here we have a heap which looks like this this is not a heap which satisfies the heap property 3 is going to be less than 4 which satisfies the heap property but since 3 is greater than 2 it is going to violate the heap property so what do we do in that case we need to swap so we are going to swap 3 and 2 Now the heap property has been satisfied. So now we are going to swap the first element with the last unsorted element. So at this point 1 has been sorted. So now we will swap the first element 2 with the last unsorted element which is 7. So this is going to be at this point this is going to be our sorted array and this is going to be our heap. We are going to swap 2 which is the first element with the last unsorted element. On doing so we get a heap which looks like this. Now 2 becomes part of our sorted array and our heap consists of 7, 3 and 4. Now we check whether the heap property has been satisfied. Since 7 is going to be greater than both 3 and 4, we can say that this violates the heap property. So since I am going to be building a min heap, I will replace 7 with the smaller of its children. So I am going to swap 7 and 3. So 2 and 1 are my sorted array, 3, 7 and 4 are my heap. This is a heap that satisfies the heap property. So what must I do next? I must swap the first element with the last unsorted element. So I am going to swap 3 and 4. And now 3, 2 and 1 are going to be part of my sorted array. 7 and 4 are going to be part of my heap. This satisfies the heap property. So now what am I going to do? I am going to swap the first element in my heap with the last unsorted element. So I am going to swap 4 and 7. So now 4, 3, 2 and 1 are part of my sorted array, 7 is going to be part of my heap. Now 7 is a single element, so of course it's going to satisfy the property of a heap. So now I can include 7 into my sorted array. As you can see, now the elements have been sorted in descending order.
So that is how you can achieve heap sort using an array so that you can achieve in place heap sort. Now it is important to note that for ascending order you need to first construct a max heap and to achieve descending order you need to construct a min heap so this is how you perform in place heap sort using an array.